Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. We are back in Planet Zoo. Very exciting. Continuing on with Maple Leaf Wildlife Park. So last time we built this big old enclosure over here, it got up to silver. And we've got three species in here, I believe, don't we? I believe we do. What's going on over here? We have many guessing the tickets are underpriced still. Uh, diseased animals discovered. The vet has been called. In fact, it's just got there. Some animals are fighting and some animals are hungry. And some say they have low welfare, which is the peafowls, which is the only species in the park to have any, find of, any kind of enrichment. So I find that to be a little bit disingenuous of you, you cheeky peafowls. Right. So first things first, let's have a look at our ticket prices. And if people are going to complain about the ticket prices being wonderful, We'll crank them up until they're not. So let's just crank up to 10 and, nine, and 5. We'll see how that goes. Oh, the inspector was here. I didn't even realise. Uh, three stars. Very clean and very little education. Habitats were four stars each. Uh, can't click on it to find out more. Don't know what more I could do to educate people. I've got signs everywhere. Of course, I put the donation bins in last time, didn't I? So they will hopefully be starting to generate us a good tidy bit of profit. That's the plan. So what do we need? Animal is stressed. It has no enrichment, but I mean, I just not, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Let's have a quick look at our research and see how that's going. So we have active disease we need to research, and these two are on their way, but just not going very far, really, are they? Do we need more staff? We have three cleaners. We have two keepers. I might get another keeper, just because as I saw them, one's on break. So if we've got three enclosures, but one's on break, one mechanic, one security guard, three vendors and three vets. I'm going to get another vet as well, I think, because that means I've only actually got one active vet, doesn't it? And then what do we need to do? We need two more habitat species. We need two more exhibits and we need to have a yearly profit of $10,000, which is the one that's going to be a bit more of a challenge for us, I think. In the first instance, let's get the two exhibits done because that's relatively easy. Uh, it's facilities, isn't it? What am I doing? Small animal exhibits. We'll have one of these. What I'd like to do is have it put in here like that. I don't know if we're going to connect up the other side, unfortunately. What I'd like to actually do is connect it up. We can fit something in there. If we put it there... we put it there, can we get away with pathing? Uh, at four meters. Like that. Yes, we can. Ideal. That's exactly what I wanted. So we need another exhibit species. So let's have a look at animal trading. Exhibit trading even is what I wanted. So what have we got? We've got spiders and scorpions, don't we? What can we? What else can we get for uh, conservation credits? Ideally, we can get two female brown snakes. We've got other scorpions we can get. Do we want other scorpions? And we can get a male and female mo uh, gila monster. What do gila monsters like? Let's have a quick look at them. Group size of one to four. Okay, let's get a couple of them. Exhibit trading, all the way down again, it doesn't remember where you were. Let's get a male and female Gila monster. Oh, did that not... Oh, because it's down there, you can't hit that to buy it. That confused me. So let's do that, let's... Uh, exhibit trading in storage, select all, send to zoo, send there. Let's pause the game a little bit. And then we need to put in facilities, information, exhibit education board. One there, one there, and one over here. In fact, we need one here as well now, don't we? Because we've opened up that side. 
So we need to open up that window. Where's that? Uh, put nothing there. Okie dokie. Open the window. I might just leave this one open as well, actually. And then we need to change this to the Gila monster. Perfect. And then we're going to need some donation boxes. Where were the donation boxes? There they are. Let's pop one there. I'd like one in the corner if we can get one there, but I don't think we can. So let's pop one there instead. And one there. I'm just going to pop them down all over the place by the look of it. Just really want that money, people. Really want that money. Okay. And the Gila monsters are ready for viewing as soon as they arrive in there. I don't know if they need to be placed there or if they're there automatically. I can't see them. Oh no, there's one. Where is he? Oh, now it's looking at a different one altogether, is it? Or does it just focus on the exhibit? I think it just focuses on the exhibit. Anyway. Looking so unhealthy. All oh, right, hold up. Ha <laughs> ha ha. They are way too cold. We should have told you what it was that they needed there. And they are way too humid. So let's change this rapidly. Because they are miserable little gilas at the moment. Right, so the humidity is fine. The temperature is going up. It's going up. It's going up. Is it going to be enough? I don't think it is. I wonder what it is. We could probably find out what their needs are from the Zoopedia page, actually, couldn't we? So that's pretty much bang in the middle now. So they are now super happy. It's really sad to see them so unhealthy. It's really good to see them looking so healthy. The layout isn't ideal, but that's to do with the research. And we just don't have the vets to do the research, it would seem. So I can I not get another path in? And I must have tried, right? No, no, I can't. That's fine. So we do need another exhibit yet, don't we? Yeah, we need at least one more exhibit. So let's get the facility. Small animal exhibit. Grab one of these. Oh, I could join it to the stairs. That's interesting. Um, so if I pop it there... Do I want to join it to the stairs is the question. I'm not sure I do. And also we need to know what animals we're actually going to get. Exhibit trading we want. Can we change it? Other way. Conservation credits. Uh... What's that saying? Is that saying eight staff can't find room? I need more training to do this more this much work. I don't know how. Our oh, training. So we can train them up. Maybe we'll worry about that. A lot of people can't find an accessible staff room. We might need to look at getting another staff room. The game is running like a dog today. So apologies for the jerkiness. I don't know why it's running so badly. Oh, a beefy enough system. You'd have thought it would be doing better, but apparently not. Uh, so we have a Gila monster. We have a scorpion. We have a spider. So a snake or a millipede, a really, or a centipede even, are the ones we're sort of looking for, I guess, aren't they? So we're going to have to turn on the cash ones, the cash monies. So there's a yellow anaconda. We could get that one and that one. That one is going to die almost immediately, though. Is there something else? A snake would be nice. This one and one of these males would be okay. Let's have a quick look at the eastern... Oh, well, let's pause a second because that timer is very close to going down. The Eastern Brown Snake group size, yeah, it's fine in groups. That's all I really wanted to know. So exhibit trading. Oh, it's changed everything, of course. It's what it does. So we should get this Eastern Brown female. 
And we shall get a male. Well, I guess this one here, who isn't terrible. We shall grab that. We shall select them all. Center zoo, center here. So we've hit that marker there now. The profit one's going to be the interesting one, I think. Uh, exhibit is too cold, but it is a perfect humidity. So let's bump out. It doesn't need to go up a lot, actually, does it? So let's pop that about there. Facilities, information. We want these things. Pop each of these on each corner. And then guest facilities. We want the donation boxes. I could actually probably come out of this. Uh... Oh, I've got guest education down as the thing there. Okay, that's a bit better. Let's pop one there and then one. Where are we going to put that? Do I not have any money? Oh, there we do. Yes, I do. Just surround it in donation boxes, quite frankly. And let's keep an eye on this temperature and make sure that goes up to a suitable level. I think 27 is going to be too much. There we go. We have some vet research complete. Let's pause the game in a second again. Oh, I didn't actually select this to be the uh, Eastern Brown Snake, did I? So let's do that. That'd be helpful, otherwise people have nothing. And this path here is actually kind of pointless at the moment, isn't it? I have just realized See if we can get some way of uh, L to go down. What the hell what was it to go down? J. There we go. And that's not what I wanted at all, is it? Let's undo that. So if we oh, it's slightly obstructed. That's a little annoying, isn't it? Can't get it. We go off there. That's the furthest we'll get it angled out. Oh, there we go. That'll do. That's perfect. A little, little route down there to see that exhibit. I wonder if we can get a path in. Not that path. Let's undo that a second. Like that. Ideal. Oh, no, not ideal. It undid it all. In fact, I managed to delete that somehow. Let's do that then. Have I just done it again? There we go. Right. Just, just come away from it. Just come off the paths. It's all nice and open now. That's what we want to see. Right. Have left that with the, the slightly different... Uh, texture. I don't know if you can change that afterwards. Doesn't seem to be able to. That's fine. That's fine. Guests still complain about tickets being underpriced. How much more do I need to charge for this place until people chill out? Animals fighting. That's fine. Low welfare for these guys. What's wrong with them? They are still complaining about the temperature. Pause the game again. Let's take a look at the temperature. Ah, that's because they're not in the temperature zones, isn't it? So let's pop down. Habitat. Heaters and coolers. Heater. Pop one over here. Make that the full, uh, full thing again. That should sort that little guy out. Or not. Um. Oh, it's increasing now. Look, there we go. So that should sort that turtle out. Is that guy just right in the middle of... He's just right in the middle of the zone, so he'll be fine when he walks somewhere else. 
I don't know why the game is running so bad today. I do apologise. There's nothing running in the background. He says checking his task. But I don't know how less some game running in the background backs. And it is just running terribly. Look. No idea why. Incorrect sex ratio. Is that because they've given birth to something though? All right, let's pause the game again, I suppose. All of them, in fact, are having issues. I don't know. It's three female to two males. So I don't know what's wrong with that, necessarily. I'm just going to leave it for now. I'm just going to leave it for now. Because we really need to focus on getting... I can just hear the cat wailing in the background. Getting a couple more species here. So we need to get another exhibit in here. I, I would like very much to get rid of this rain. It used to be you could change the time in Planet Coaster. I don't think, I can't see a way of doing that anymore though. There can't be 10 staff who don't have access to a staff room. Because I don't think I even have 10 staff, do I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I suppose I do, actually, yeah. But you shouldn't all be on a break at the same time, so I feel like that's your fault. Now, nobody's donated to either of these, and so nobody donates on the way in or out of the zoo, which I suppose makes sense. Probably need to look at getting some more guest facilities down, because it's getting a little busy. Pop some in over here, maybe. I don't know why the game is running so badly. Let's save it very quickly. He says very, very quickly. And I might. Whilst that is saved, oh, it's actually already saved. But I'm trying to just bring up Task Manager surreptitiously so I can check everything. So what have we got going on? Yeah, I mean, it's not... Planet Coaster is unsurprisingly the main issue. But nothing's actually maxed out at all, so I don't know why it's running like this. Let me just move that over to my second screen so I can keep an eye on it. Yeah, nothing's maxed out. Nothing's even close to being maxed out. It's like 50% usage. Actually, now that I've resumed the game, my GPU usage has gone down by 15%. That was very weird. Very weird indeed. Right, let's think. We need to get another exhibit up, so we need to think about... I'm just going to leave time running, actually, because we're actually going to make some money, I think, in the meantime. We need to think about the animals we are going to have. and Do we want one exhibit or two? I would like to have two extra. Maybe do like a little one over here. We have left this space. I was going to put guest stuff in there, but like I said, I could put guest stuff there, couldn't I? And I've left these corners as well that I could also put some additional stuff in. So what animal? Nothing which needs a huge amount of space. Let's arrange it in a sensible way. So we've got tortoises. Got bison. It's got wildebeest. What about bears? Do bears need a lot of space? I feel like they might now that I said it out loud. Where is it? 750 meters. So yeah, it is quite a lot. And they need grade 4 climb proof. And I don't think... I have grade 4 climb proof, do I? Where does it say again? Oh, there we go. Grade 2, 3, or 5 not climbable. So I do have a grade 5 available, actually. But then, no one's going to see anything, are they? Don't know why the game is running so badly. It's really frustrating. P-fowls we have. We could get some macaques. That's not very many macaques, though, is it? I probably need a lot of space as well. What about lemurs? There's only two lemurs, though. I suspect they're going to want 
a lot more. And in fact, one of them's actually already expired, but I think they're going to need quite a big group, aren't they? Yeah, at least three. So the lemur is no good to us. Stop doing that. Why do you keep changing the order of things? What do we have? Uh, crocodiles. They probably need a lot of space and water. We do a couple of snow leopards, but we can't actually afford them because we've used up too much of our credit, so that's no good for us. And then we're on to the wolves. Just pause the game, I suppose, to make sure these listings don't continue to expire. So it's looking at the wolves. Oh, there are a few more females up there. What do the wolves need? A group of at least two. They need a big old habitat, 1,100 meters. But if we just check this one, how big is this habitat? Uh, six, six and a half thousand squared. So that would be plenty. Well, it's not going to be quite as big as that, I don't think. But I think that's going to be enough. So let's get some wolves. Let's get our first carnivores. Um, Zupedia. So they need grade two. Doesn't matter if it's climbable or not, so people should be able to see over it, actually. So maybe this isn't going to be the best area for them. Maybe we should leave this area for something else. But now I'm going to do it. Uh, barriers. Where is our grade twos? We have glass grade two, actually. semi-transparent or transparent so i might put some glass in here and then we can put a what's the other grade two on corrugated here and then a bit of glass and then corrugated again how to make it shorter to get fit it into that corner properly there we go now we'll go for corrugated I can bring the length up a bit more as well It's corrugated. No, I'm doing glass. I do not want glass. I want it corrugated. It's still glass. Corrugated. It's probably the worst looking sort of enclosure uh, barrier I think I could think of. It's not going to be very pretty at all, is it? And I want a little bit extra glass up the end there. Not that I think people will really go up there that much. But just in case they do. It's gone glass again, hasn't it? I got rid of that last little corner there as well, actually. I think when I click on something over here, it defaults yeah, to whatever it was last or what the, what it is. I need to make sure I change it after I click on the post. And if I'm going to make the same mistake again, let's make that glass. There we go. It's a nice humongous habitat. We need to put in a gate. Which I actually cannot put in here. Uh, so if I just delete some of these first, can I just not go where glass is if I put... Put that in there. And then we'll finish that off. Perfect. So we now have a huge habitat for the wolves. Let's actually get the wolves in. Take a look at their Zoopedia a second. Uh, so we have plenty of that. They don't need any water, which is good because they haven't got any. Uh, so 2 to 12, and it's pretty much... 
Yeah, they're happy with a group of a bit of everything, really, aren't they? We just need at least two, which I think is fine. So let's look for everything which isn't terrible. Uh, so that's one male. One female. Two males. Two females. Three females. And let's get that guy there then. He's not very fertile, but he'll he'll be okay. So that's given us six, three of each. That's all oh, you stupid thing. Don't understand how it changes the order in. Let's have a quick look, make sure that everyone else. Hey, he's terrible. She's not great. Fertility and immunity. Longevity and fertility, maybe. Then another immunity and then a fertility for oh, in fact, yeah, so let's get that one. And that one. Then we've got eight. So if you select all of those, send to zoo, send to this habitat. Perfect. Oh, we had research, didn't we? I completely forgot about that. What is our vet research? Oh, hello, there it is. We have black wildebeest and Indian peafowl research done. So we really want to change that, I think. So let's put this person, let's get them on the... Well, I don't have the wolves yet, so it won't let me do them. Let's do the poor tortoises. And then let's do one of these. Let's do the Gila monsters, because everyone thought they were sad. So we should have... Where are we going? Up here. Nope, too far. Where's our tortoises? There it is. Uh, our Indian peafowls should now have some more enrichment. Peafowls? Yeah, so they have this feeder one already. Now they have a sprinkler. We don't want to put the sprinkler too close to the heaters, though. So if we put them down there, and if we find an Indian peafowl. Hello. Hello. There's one. So they are now... Oops. Oh, they need a hard shelter, actually. And their enrichment is not great. They could do some more food enrichment, actually. And that's all right, because we can actually give them a different one. We can give them a forage box. A huge, huge forage box. We actually put it in the middle there. So that's them sorted for that. Just needs a little bit more hard shelter. So let's get them another hard shelter. And pop that up there. And then put a large straw in it. And that should solve their hard shelter problems. And then we have, what was it? It was the, was it the Wildebeest. So if we go into Habitat. Wildebeest. And look at their enrichment. There should be, yes. In fact, they have a grazing ball feeder. So they have food and toys. Give them a couple, just in case the other other creatures can use it as well. That's the bison, isn't it? Where's the wildebeest? The wildebeest enrichment. Food, toy enrichment is fine. Food enrichment they could do with more. Let's just drop down another one. There we go, that'll do. And I don't think... Oh, that does count for the bison as well. That's nice. And the sable antelope can also use the feeder. So that's actually improved the enrichment then of quite a lot of those. That's what, oh look, it's so cute. That is adorable. Apart from there where its eye gets freaky with the light. But that is adorable. Anyway. So they have lots of enrichment items there now. I don't suppose any of them count for the tortoises as well then, do they? Tort. Oh, the sprinklers do actually. So the tortoise has got a little bit of enrichment out of it as well. Wonderful. It's definitely worthwhile focusing on doing sort of one species per habitat. That's worked out quite well. Let's unpause that. Many guests think tickets are underpriced still. I'm trying not to change it too often. In fact, pause. So what I don't have 
is any information or anything. What's a conservation education board? Maybe I'll put a few of those down. Um, let's get that and get a donation box down. Then change that to the timber wolf. And then let's put back over conservation education board. Okay. Uh, climate change. Yes. And then we want to put down a couple of boards. What's this one? Oh, so that just does it all in one for the same price. That's a little easier, isn't it? That's not. That's in the wrong place. I can't tell if that's on the bridge or not. Nope. Maybe it can't go on the bridge. That one definitely can. So we'll pop that there and change that to Timberwolf. And we'll pop down another donation thing there as well. Okay. So the other thing we need then, we just need some things for the timber wolves. Timber. Oh, they can actually use the sprinklers. So let's pop down a couple of sprinklers. They need a large shelter. So a large shelter they shall have. We shall pop that at the back here. Where they're not going to be too disturbed. Well, I kind of like that one, actually. Let's put this one down. And then we should give them some extra large bedding. I only do half, just in case they don't want it. I don't know if that's bad or not. Food and water. Put this closer to the front again. We should give them a water pipe. I prefer the water pipes. I don't know why, but I do. And we shall give them... A small food tray, is that going to be enough? Don't know, that's what they're going to get I suppose. And then we shall unpause the game. We have our first timber wolves. That I'm unable to click on, that's because I'm still editing the shelter. So I've just added those to the shelter, have I? That was not my intention. Oh, that's quite a fancy shot, isn't it? They're beautiful. They've got a bit of a squashed face, but apart from that, they are beautiful. So they have no food enrichment. They have a little bit of toy enrichment. The terrain is no good for them. So let's, first of all, let's give them another toy, because that's easily done. He says click on everything other than the toy. So pop one of those down here. Put one up there next to there as well. I'm sure that will help their toy enrichment. And what is wrong with their terrain? Too much long grass. Just too much long grass. They don't want anything else, but there's too much wrong, long grass. We can, so we can give them some soil. Because I don't mind a little bit of soil. Let's give them some heavy soil, shall we? Change the intensity and the size. And they can have too much. So I don't want to go too far. Then I want a little bit of rock. Let's give them some rough rock. We'll change the size down.
Trying to get rid of all these sort of little patches of green that are in the middle. Get rid of those. And I wouldn't mind some snow, but I don't know if it's cold enough for snow or how I really do snow. Add some rock down here. We're still doing okay. There's still lots of rock it can have. I don't know why it still doesn't seem to be filling everything in, even though the intensity's up, up at 100. Ah, so now the grass has actually gone down to perfect. How would I do snow? I can do snow. I'm now taking away too much of the rock. I know they have too much rock. These are less rock. Let's give it some more soil. There we go. Let's just leave that there. They've got a little bit of snow. Everything's fine. They're all happy. Right. Overview, they do need some toy enrichment, or uh, some food enrichment, sorry. Let's just... I want to see how they're actually feeling about the toy. They're still not happy with the toy enrichment. That's they don't have much. They only have one toy. That's probably why. So we have timber walls. The timber walls are very popular. I feel like we should definitely give that another... Uh, another donation box there. I did change that to Timberwolf, didn't I? Yes. I don't know how... Does the snow change the temperature, then? Doesn't seem to, does it? I don't know how the snow works. The game is running like an absolute dog. What I was going to do when I saved the game, like, 20 minutes ago... I was going to drop the settings down a bit to see if that makes any difference. Like I said, I don't think it will because nothing's actually being taxed. Like literally nothing. CPU's 40, GPU's 40, disks are zero. So I don't know why it's being so terrible. Um, we just do preset medium and apply that. No, I wouldn't say it's made any difference at all really, has it? Okay, so what else do we need? We actually only need one more species. Hmm. I was going to stop it there, but we only need one more species. I don't suppose the wolves can co cohabitate with anything, can they? That would seem a bit, a bit silly. No. Of course it doesn't. That would be ridiculous. Um... I feel like my enclosures are way too big, but I also feel like it's too late to do anything about that. That just is what it is. As so we already have things, so I could, if I put one up here, maybe, that would make sense. I can't get anything else in with these guys, can I? Can I? Where's their Zoopedia? That'd be a nice, easy way of doing it. That says no. Where is there a turtle? And that says no. Well, I don't know why to put them in together then. Um, it doesn't mean you can't put other things in, of course, just that they have to be suitable. Nothing's really standing out as all that suitable, is it? Couldn't just put some of these in with the bisons and stuff, could I? Why not? Just have like a, a grazing thing. Let's try that. We did just save, so if it goes horribly wrong somehow, we'll be fine. So we've got tortoise, we've got bisons, we've got wildebeest. 
Bears, 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 peafowls, monkeys, and we've got four nylas we could get. And they like living in groups of up to one to four, with one male. And that seems like that'd actually be perfect then, doesn't it? Because we've got a group of four with one male. Let's just get them. Hope they are suitable. Unpause the game. Is it 10,000 a year or 10,000 a month we needed? A yearly profit of 10,000. So we obviously hit that because we are we do have actually quite a lot of money there now. And there it is. There is our gold. Cha ching The eastern brown snake is well, actually the most popular you species. Do. I gave you some pretty ambitious targets to hit. But wouldn't you know it? You hit them all anyway. <laughs> I think it's high time we dropped that uh, apprentice from your title, huh? And to be candid... I was going to say something, but you carried on talking. I'm particularly glad you hit the profit target, as I paid way over the odds for the land. Frankly, the amount I spent per square foot... <laughs> you'd think I'd bought a penthouse apartment with solid gold toilets. <laughs> it was worth it, though. Anything to stop the land going to that dreadful hedge fund. Apparently, they wanted to parcel it up and sell it off to mm -hmm. various That's mining... That's terrible, Bernie. That's sorties. terrible. They're the sort of people who'd squeeze the oil out of the Mona Lisa if they could. <sighs> Let's take a quick look at these other things we have around. 40% of customers run happy with the chief beef. Don't know why that is. Probably because it just closed. <laughs> so yeah, I did notice that the gulpy was closed as well. So we do probably need to get some more vendors in to actually deal with that. We don't need to worry about it at the moment. I do need to worry about why the frame rate is dropping down to single digits. Eight frames it went down to then. That's crazy. This is the only video that's going to be out over the Christmas period. Uh, I don't think there's any other Planet Zoo one scheduled. If you have any advice for the terrible performance we're seeing here, do let me know because it's insane. I don't know whether it's the amount of people we have, but it's only 1,200 people. That's not that many, is it? Hmm. Hope you enjoyed that. Like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. As I say, let me know down in the comments if there's any particular reason that you know of it's doing this really terrible behaviour, because it's very frustrating to play it like this, and it must be quite frustrating to watch it as well, so I do apologise. As I said, I'm away over Christmas, back in the new year, so we'll have streams and videos returning as normal in the new year, so it'll be wonderful to see you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Planet Zoo, and as always, thank you very much for joining me.